This video is sponsored by Ground News. To end this calamity, the chronic disease crisis was one of the primary reasons for my running for president, along with ending censorship in the Ukraine war. It's the reason I've made the heart-wrenching decision to suspend my campaign and to support President Trump. So RFK is out of the race and he's putting his horses behind Donald Trump. Let's talk about it. So as to not bear the lead, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. says he's suspending his presidential campaign and backing Donald Trump. Now, he gives a couple of reasons for this change. Here it is. The chronic disease crisis was one of the primary reasons for my running for president, along with ending the censorship in the Ukraine war. It's the reason I've made the heart-wrenching decision to suspend my campaign and to support President Trump, this decision is agonizing for me because of the difficulties it causes my wife and my children and my friends. But I have the certainty that this is what I've meant to do. And that certainty gives me internal peace, even in storms. Now, as always, the devil's in the details. By suspending his campaign, he's actually not ending his campaign. And he still wants people to vote for him as long as you're not in a swing state. Here's what he had to say about that. Oh, I want everyone to know that I am not terminating my campaign. I am simply suspending it and not, not ending it. My name... <clears throat> My name will remain on the ballot in most states. If you live in a blue state, you can vote for me without harming or helping President Trump or, or, or Vice President Harris. In red states, the same will apply. I encourage you to vote for me. And if enough of you do vote for me, and neither of the major party candidates win 270 votes, which is quite possible, in fact, Today, our polling shows them tying at 269 to 269. And I could conceivably still end up in the White House in a contingent election. But, but in about 10 battleground states where my presence would be a spoiler, I'm going to remove my name. And I've already started that process and urge voters not to vote for me. It's with a sense of victory and not defeat that I'm suspending my campaign activities. Now, the obvious question is, how is this endorsement by RFK, a lifelong Democrat, going to affect the presidential campaigns of Donald Trump and VP Harris? Well, here is 538, where they aggregate all of the recent polls. And as you can see, as of right now, Harris has a 3.7 point advantage over former President Trump. But... RFK is pulling 4.6%. So if all of that support from Kennedy goes to Trump, he essentially is leading in the national polls. Now, obviously there are a lot of uncertainties when it comes to trying to predict who people are gonna vote for in November. It's just August. A few moments later. All right, so this is my ground news account. Robert F. Kennedy suspends campaign and backs Trump for president. Now, the great part about ground news, it gives you the three basic perspectives, left, center, and right. You also get to see how each side is building a particular narrative, especially how this endorsement affects their side of the aisle. Okay, so I sorted this based on bias and a left-wing bias. Here's some of the headlines. Sold his endorsement, RFK suspends, backs Trump, running mate wants vaccine apologies. Alternate, let's see what alternate says. Alternate says sold his endorsement, we read that headline. Let's see how they describe it. Independent presidential candidate, anti-vaxxer, AIDS denialist, and conspiracy theorist Robert Kennedy Jr. suspended his campaign and is back in Republican Party nominee. Wow. So it seems clear that Alternet is not really in favor of RFK and wants to describe him in a particular way. RFK scraps failing campaign to throw support about behind Donald Trump. RFK Jr. suspends campaign and sounds like Trump wrote his speech. Now, in this grand scheme of things, this narrative makes sense, right? You want to discredit RFK as much as you can because he is endorsing Trump for president. To suspend my campaign and to support 
President Trump. Now, if you want to see how the news is being spent on the right, left, and center, check them out. Go to ground.news forward slash Nate. That's ground.news forward slash Nate. And you'll save 40% off the Vantage plan. And it allows you to see everything. Don't just be fooled by only looking at one side, but get the full picture on Ground News. Remember, check them out at ground.news forward slash Nate to get 40% off. All right, so we just looked at the left side of the aisle, and now I've pulled up the right side of the aisle to see how they are spinning this endorsement. And it pretty much is all the same thing. It's saying that Robert F. Kennedy suspends President's campaign and endorses Trump. It doesn't really... It's like everybody's in unison saying the same thing. Nobody's really attacking Kennedy because he's endorsing their guy, but nobody's really showing Kennedy love because he still has some issues. Let's see how the American conservative describes it. Okay, so here is how the... American conservative describes Robert F. Kennedy. The independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. will withdraw his name from the ballot of 10 battleground states, effectively ending his ambitious but fraught campaign for the White House. Now, as you can see, obviously, they're not going to describe RFK as an anti-vaxxer or conspiracy theorist. He's endorsing their guy. And I am surprised that neither side mentioned that RFK had Part of his brain eaten by a worm? Eye-opening headline tonight involving presidential candidate uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. The New York Times reporting on a 2012 deposition during which RFK Jr. said doctors once found a parasite, a dead worm, in his brain. Tonight, what his campaign is now saying about this, and here's Kena Whitworth. Tonight, new questions about the health of independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. after he claimed a doctor discovered a dead worm in his brain. According to the New York Times, Kennedy testified in a 2012 deposition that he experienced memory loss at the time, saying, I have cognitive problems, clearly. Kennedy said one of the doctors said it could have been caused by a worm that got into my brain and ate a portion of it and then died. Now, which side of the aisle do you think has the better argument? Now, I do think it's good to bring up that RFK did run as a Democrat in the Democratic primary before dropping out and running as an independent for president. Now, the Democratic National Committee made a decision not to host debates between Biden and the other candidates, and Kennedy accused them of ringing the party's primary against them. And as the conservative-leaning New York Post writes, Democratic Dynasty heir RFK Jr. endorses Republican Trump. Now, I know some people aren't going to hear this, but I'm just going to be honest. I think Kennedy has a legitimate beef with the Democratic Party. He ran as a Democrat. They wouldn't let him debate Biden. Then Biden drops out anyway. Then he got to sit back and watch Kamala accept the Democratic Party nomination, even though she didn't run in the Democratic primary. So I'll leave the question to you. Who do you think this helps the most? Now, obviously, in the short term, it's definitely going to help former President Donald Trump. But is it enough that's going to help him get over the hump? We'll only know in about two months. So with that, don't forget, like, subscribe, do all the great YouTube stuff. My name is Ethel Lloyd, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.